Good evening everyone. We're up at the summit of Messiah again and this time we're doing a nighttime thermal session. So first a big shout out to Rebecca who is lighting girl. We can't see her. She's underneath the light. She's doing a fantastic job. We've also got an umbrella in front. An ingenious way of cutting out the wind noise from the previous night. Isn't that fantastic? So what we're doing tonight is we're taking some nighttime thermal camera work um, of the lava lake. And this is because we get the strongest uh, possible wavelengths of light uh, and sort of intensity of light rather at this time. So we're going to peer over the edge slightly um, and you can see the really strong glow that we've got there from the lava lake. Uh, try and cut that wind noise out again for you. Whilst giving you a look, you can see that really bright there again. And as with the other videos, I'll set up a nice little video uh, sort of inset to the to the left of me so you can really have a look at what's going on there uh, so you can really see the speed of that thing is convecting uh, over the top of the, the surface of the lava lake really truly fantastic even better at night than it is during the day so I hope you can still hear me um, so I had a couple questions from uh, should we call them loyal watchers uh, the first was from Roy so he loves a shout out hi Roy and he asked what forms this crater. Um, so essentially, uh, Messiah is composed of basaltic lavas. So these are really low viscosity lavas, um, which enable, which essentially can flow much quicker than at higher viscosity volcanoes, uh, where everything's a lot more sticky and flows much slower. So over time, these volcanoes build up layers and layers of lava, which what creates the stratification in the side of the crater like the like I showed you in the I think it was the first video and at each sort of basaltic volcano such as this one you'll have a center of activity so this center activity will be where there'll be explosions um, whether they be uh, strombolian in nature so impulsive short events or larger eruptions and at the central point of these eruptions which can be in the same place um, but more often than not can migrate from various location to location and in these situations the, that's why we have multiple craters at the summit of Messiah so we've got one to the left of me and we've got another one to the right of me and we've got the active um, crater centre at the moment um, so the, set, the area of activity can migrate over time but at the moment we're centred in this one and that's where the activity happens that's why we've got the, the crater there at the moment so Messiah is one of seven I believe active lava lakes around the world at the moment I think others are in Kilauea Hawaii, uh, that's Hawaii, uh, Chile, Via Rica, Nirigongo in the Congo, there's one in uh, northern Africa called Erta Ale, uh, we've got Erebus which is in Antarctica and we also have a, a lava lake at uh, in Vanuatu on, a, on an island called Ambrim. Uh, it's another fantastic one which is a lot like this in uh, vigorous overturning nature and much like the one in Via Rica I believe as well. Um, so I'm hoping some of the results that we get uh, kind of point us that we may be we may see similar behavior here that we do at Via Rica and Ambrim but that's why we're here investigating what's going on. Uh, so that was uh, Roy's question. Thank you Roy. Um, a shout out to Jimmy Kavanagh's kids who love the uh, love the lava lake pictures and videos so you're going to get more of that today and also uh, Emily I'm really sorry you're not going to get any uh, Star Wars lava lake fights on the summit because a that's dangerous and Tom's uh, not with us today because he's uh, ill at home unfortunately uh, so that's probably it from the summit and it's probably the last time at the summit so thank you all to, for watching these videos and I hope you found them useful thanks again to Rebecca for holding the light and uh, I'll see you all soon thank you very much